Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and today I'm talking about the easiest way to take self-portraits. People ask me all the time how to do this and while there's a bunch of different ways, there's one way that is easier than all of the rest and that is with a cheap little tool called a shutter release cable. These things are amazing, they are super cheap, and they're gonna save you a ton of time. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to use this little guy to take really easy self-portraits. But before we start the video, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. All right, so this little guy. I, uh, I got it a couple months ago on Amazon. Uh, it's a little off-brand uh, contraption. And basically what it allows you to do is you take it, you plug it right into your camera, and it basically works as a remote shutter. So it just continuously is pressing that shutter button for you at whatever interval that you want it to do. And why this is so great is you kind of have a complete hands-off approach and you can set it to take a ton of pictures, anywhere from one to like 500. So it'll just keep on going. This is way better than having like a friend or a super uninterested boyfriend take your pictures and like, you know, if you don't have that, if you have that, if you have a boyfriend who takes your pictures, man, I'll have more power to you. But if you don't, this is what we have to do. Instagram boyfriend, <laughs> this little cable. That was sad. It's really, really great. And it's also better than um, hooking up your phone wirelessly. I've seen people do that or they do the wireless remotes. I don't like those options because what happens is you take the photo and then you have it on a timer and then you have to like throw your phone out of the shot. And then you have to go like get that again and go back into the position. That whole thing is weird. And, and I hated doing self portraits for that reason. Cause I felt like it was just so difficult, like such a clunky, awkward process. So with this, what you do is you basically set up your shot how you want it, set up your focus, plug this guy in, and then you can set it to uh, basically how many shots and what you want the delay to be. And I'll just put it to 50 shots, plug it in, and it just will continuously click, click, click. I can do, you know, my different poses, move around, do the... I don't know, I can't pose, I'm not a model, but uh, I can try. We can, we can all try to be an Instagram bae. Let's go over how to actually use this guy. So the first thing that you're gonna see is this delay option. What this means is how long do you want it to delay before it even starts taking the photos? So this really isn't necessary for a lot of people. This is like if you want it to delay like an hour and something's happening at sunset and you want to pre-program this to do like a time lapse or something in the future. I never use that so I just set the delay for five seconds and what that means is once I start the remote shutter within five seconds it will start taking the photos and that gives me enough time to kind of get into position. The next option is called long and this really isn't something you have to worry about for self-portraits. This is more so something for long exposure shots. So if you were doing like shots of a highway and you wanted the lights moving and things like that. Since we aren't doing anything with long exposures, you can just go ahead and set this to one second because all that matters is that it is longer than what your camera shutter speed is set at. Now the next option is called interval and that is how long between shutter snaps. So I put that at two seconds. So every two seconds, the camera is automatically going to take another picture. It's gonna snap that shutter every two seconds. So that gives me enough time to do a pose, move into another pose, and then you know see how that goes. And then you have number. This is the amount of shots that your camera is gonna take before it stops. So if you think you, know, you wanna give yourself a bunch of options, you wanna try a bunch of different poses, then make this really high. Set it to something like 100, and it's gonna take 100 photos. It's gonna force you to do 100 different poses, get things just right. So here's some examples of photos I took using the remote shutter cable. And as you can see, since you have the ability to just take so many shots consecutively, you can really try out a bunch of different poses and styles and looks for your photo. All right, so I hope you guys had fun learning about the shutter release cable. I love this little guy. It makes taking self-portraits so easy. Like I said before, this video was sponsored by Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I think they are the best. I think I've been using them since they first started up. It's been a really long time because back then, 
I was actually designing websites for businesses and brands and people. And that's the whole thing that got me into this whole content creation world. Because when you're working on building a website, you really have to be good at making good content, telling good stories, you need photos, videos, all of it comes together to create a really great creative story. And it's super important. So if you're interested in making your own website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lucy for 10% off a website or a domain. Also, isn't it super cool that I got squarespace.com slash Lucy, like just first name, that's it. Like, that's the dream. I love it. Uh, anyway, go check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.